Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing who is your next relationship? What is your next relationship? Who are you gonna be with? This is gonna be in really big detail. I'm gonna see if we can get kind of how, when, who, you know, all that jazz, the zodiac sign. It's gonna be in very in-depth detail, so get prepared. So I'm also gonna put crystals on these decks, so we're gonna do that now. So if you wanna choose your group without the crystals, I'd recommend you doing that now. We have group one, two, three, and four. And let's put the crystals on, so starting with it now. Okay, so these are the crystals. We have amethyst with group number one. We have the aura quartz, titanium covered with group two, peacock ore, group three, and another titanium quartz aura covered. So, aura covered, <laughs> an aura quartz titanium covered crystal. Oh my God. Okay, so let's get started and let's see who your next relationship is so starting off with group number one hello group number one let's get started with your reading and let's see who you've got coming towards you what your next relationship is going to be like i do have some more cards we're going to bring out some tarot things like that but we're going to start off with this lot first so we have oh love oh my god i love it when the first card is like the best one love okay perfect we then have sincerity trust okay this is really really beautiful this is being really kind to yourself um waiting for that person to come along when it's the right time and knowing that you just got to be yourself in the meantime you don't have to force this connection you don't have to think oh okay i have to do this 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 and this to manifest this person this is literally in the most divine timing you can possibly get okay we also have empowerment power that's so funny empowerment and power and then we also have assertion. So your person could be a Aries, they could be a Scorpio as well, um, or that could be your sign also. So this is basically showing me that this relationship is gonna be extremely empowering. This person's gonna be really empowering for you. You are gonna be in your power when you meet this person, okay? So you're not gonna be like, kind of in the element of, oh, oh, I need to wait for this person. Okay, it has to, have to, has to be more about them and less about me. It's gonna be all about you, it's gonna be, you are going to know where you're going when you meet this person. You're going to think, actually, this person's really amazing. And this person also has these those exact same qualities. So they're going to be very powerful. They're going to assert themselves. They're going to tell you what they want from you. And you're going to tell them what you want from them. Okay. I'm going to pull one of these cards. We have endurance. So for a lot of you guys, it could be feeling that it's taken its sweet, sweet time as to when you're going to meet your person. And that is totally fine. You know, sometimes we've just got to go through this. And we gotta go through like the prickly bits. You know, this is cactus. So not a lot of people wanna to touch cactuses, but a lot of people like them, you know, cause they are quite cute and they have like little tiny flowers on them sometimes. So it can literally be about just kind of enduring the storm and kind of going with that. And it's fine guys, like, you know, you get the kind of nice little bits within the stress, but once you get through that, you know, it's gonna be completely fine. And you wanna even forget about this. This is gonna be so far in the past. You're gonna be like, why did I even worry about it in the first place, okay? So we're also gonna bring out some letters as well, but I'm gonna do that a little bit later. I'm just gonna move it towards me so I don't so I don't forget because my brain is silly sometimes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have a look at their zodiac sign. I'm gonna see what zodiac sign wants to come out. I'm just organizing my cards here. I wanna make sure I've just got the zodiac sign cards and then we can possibly pick some planets as well. Just kind of get an idea of what this person and the relationship is gonna be like. Okay, I think I've got all the cards here. So let's have a look and see what zodiac signs we've got here okay let's give us another shuffle okay okie dokie lovely we've got scorpio again so most likely you are a scorpio or this person is a scorpio they could just be a water sign as well this energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. So you or this person can be like that as well. We also have Virgo. The energy around you is dutiful, hesitant and humble, with a discriminating, diligent, and painstaking air. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> like, um, but basically what it's saying is this is going to be a very organized person. I think it's going to be a very intense connection. We also have Gemini underneath the deck as well. So those are the signs that I'm picking up on, guys. It doesn't have to be those signs, okay? That can just be like their energy. Um, we also have Sagittarius here as well. Um, okay, so let's get a little bit more information on this person then. So 
some reason these cards don't like being shuffled that way so there we go okay so the fifth house so the fifth house is really really beautiful the fifth house is very very um gentle it's very creative so i think this is going to be an extremely gentle relationship it's going to be like our first relationship i'm hearing it's going to be a relationship that's really really bountiful and fun and happy and i really really feel that for you guys and we also have this is going to be like a massive change for you guys a massive awakening and I think you're going to be very spiritually awakened by the time you meet this person. I think you're going to go for a spiritual awakening if you haven't already. But also, this is going to be a sudden change. So you're not going to expect this person coming in. It's going to be like, holy crap. <laughs> you know, it's going to be like absolutely amazing. So let's get some tarot. And let's see, I'm going to move this little guy over here. So we've got a bit more room. Okay. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear these cards away. So we can fit the tarot in which is something I don't normally do, but I feel like I've really been very messy with the decks today. <laughs> so let me move these cards away, put those down there. Okie dokie, right, let's get some tarot out and let's see about this relationship. Okay, so you have been waiting quite a long time, I see that, I see you've been waiting quite a while, it's been like, I'm hearing pain, <coughs> excuse me, I'm hearing painstakingly obvious. <coughs> <clears throat> sorry guys I really need to cough <laughs> um it's like it's been quite painful because you've been through so many elements before you meet you before you're going to meet your person it's like why is this taking so freaking long okay and what is he showing me here is that you are going to meet this person most likely when you are traveling or they're going to be from quite far away I think I do see a career move as well so if you are thinking about changing up your career I do see that happening for you guys um also we have the high priestess so you're going to be in a very, very strong position by the time you meet this person it doesn't actually have to be financially um but I do see that you're just very proud of your your life your work your craft okay and this ace of pentacles is showing me that this person's going to offer you a really I'm hearing a really big wad of cash so maybe they're going to be quite well off but also I do feel like this person loves to travel as well so it could be you or them that loves to travel i feel like this person's really really kind as well i feel like they're going to be really really soft and loving and gentle and i just get that very strong energy from this person i think they're going to be really really kind and very thoughtful okay let's get a couple more cards flirtation oh lovely so you guys are going to be so flirtatious with each other you're going to be really really um open with each other there's definitely an element of rushing i feel like you guys feel like you need to rush into this relationship which is perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with that um it could be something that actually is something that you want to do so maybe that is the right thing for you to do you guys are also going to be very very intuitive this person's really intuitive as well and you're going to go through a massive awakening when you meet this person as i said and you guys are going to be really appreciative of each other and you're both going to be extremely big influences, influences on each other. Okay, so let's pull some Astro Dice. Okay, we have Leo, we have the third house and we also have Saturn. I'm pretty sure Saturn, didn't we have Saturn? Did we have Saturn? So with Saturn being in a third house with Leo, this is a very um, creative energy. I feel like this is also somebody who's going to be really good at speaking, very good at speech, really open, and is going to be very, very creative. I feel very, very creative. Um, okay, so let's get some letters. Let's see what number you should be looking out for. Number five. Oh, lovely. So very, very creative, very... Um, expansive i feel like it's, this relationship is going to be a massive change for a lot of you guys who've chosen this group i don't think you've been in a relationship for a very long time i think you've been single for quite a while so get my little cauldron okay All right we have the letters p f i t d and g Okay, so I hear the name David, Peter, Gerald, um, for women, Penelope, Frankie, uh, Francesca, Tamsin, T 
Tam Tenzin, Tanazin. Uh, okay, so how are you gonna meet this person? At work. I was feeling that with that Ace of Pentacles. That was coming through really strongly. So hair color, ginger. Okay, so they could have like light brown or ginger hair. Eye color, brown. When will you meet this person? One to three months, okay? So this is a timeless reading. So whenever you pick up on this reading, that will be when this is for you. And I'm gonna pull you guys a sexual magic card. So if you are under 18, that's totally fine. I'm just gonna choose one card. So it's fine, guys. I really feel the need to choose one for you. Okay, so we have Justice and we have Three of Wands. I love how these two cards are very mild. Like, I really love that. So I do feel like you guys are definitely going to get justice for what you've been waiting for. I really, really feel that for a lot of you guys. And there is definitely an element of, I've been waiting for you for such a long time. I just want to meet you. And I do feel like that is going to happen for you guys and you are going to get the justice that you want, okay? So thank you so much for watching this reading. If you want a private reading from me, then all the link is down below. And if you would like to check out my crystal jewelry, that information will also be down below. And I will be releasing my shop very soon. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love, bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. We have the gorgeous Aura Quartz Titanium Covered, one of my favorite crystals. So let's see what we have here. Which card do we to try first? Let's go for these three. So we have Criticism, Empathy, and we also have Taurus. I really like this combination because we've got the throat and we've got the ear. So for a lot of you guys, you could be hearing ringing in your ear. You could be needing to clear your throat a lot. You could be getting throat pain, something like that. And also I feel like this relationship's gonna be really loyal with that dog. And also we have six and 12, which is obviously double. So you guys are gonna be really, really compatible with each other. We have Virgo and we also have Pisces and Taurus here. So it's gonna be a really empathic relationship. Both of you are gonna be really, really kind to each other. And you're both gonna be able to talk things through, able to talk about how you really feel. For some of you guys, I am hearing that you could be a virgin. It could be the first time that you're um, gonna be intimate with somebody. I am just saying that because of the Virgo, it's a virgin, so that's why I'm saying that. Um, but yeah, I really feel very strongly about that for some of you guys. Um, so, we also have pleasure. What did I just say? <laughs> oh my God, and courage. Oh my God, that is so accurate. That's literally what I just said about the Virgo. That's crazy. Okay, and we have friendship. And we also have ambition. So I'm gonna pull some other cards as well, guys. So, but for now, let's have a look at these. So with pleasure and courage, this is basically showing that this is may, may be your first relationship. It doesn't have to be. For those of you it isn't, it could be that it's your first relationship. You really, really, really feel compatible with this person. You really connect, you really feel so um, connected. And it's funny, we have nine and one. Obviously nine and one is 10, which is a new star. This is like a brand new start for you guys. And number one is the courage to go into this relationship with a really strong mind, knowing that this is gonna be the right thing for you guys, okay? And we also have with friendship and ambition, this is showing me for you guys that this person may be a friend before they're a relationship, or you can meet them through a friendship group. This person is gonna be really ambitious towards you and they're gonna show you how much they really, really appreciate you. And it's gonna be a very, very strong, compatible relationship. The courage is making me feel like this person is very strong in their energy and you are more likely the, the feminine. Feminine energy don't, don't have to be, but you are more of the feminine energy in here. Um, but it also shows me that you guys are gonna have a very pleasurable relationship. It's gonna be very fun. It's gonna be um, most likely very intimate, very comfortable. And you're most likely gonna be obviously very intimate with each other. I feel like intimacies are very strong for this group. So if you are that sort of person and that is a very strong element to the relationship and you are, that is something that's very important to you, then that is something that I'm picking up on here. It's gonna be a very stable relationship, very long lasting, very practical. This person may be a little bit slow on their approach in a sense that, as I say, you might be friends first and then you have the relationships, but it doesn't mean that it's gonna be like lacking anything. I do feel like it's all gonna be very, very, very positive, okay? So let's see what we have here with this deck. Let's see if we can pick up any other like zodiac signs or anything like that. Okay, I want this one here. Okay, we have Aries, lovely. Very passionate, very, very 
energetic and very, very intimate. We have Uranus, massive expansion. That's a similar color to that Courage card as well. So massive expansion, feeling like really, really comfortable. I'm hearing Aquarius as well. Um, we have Sagittarius. So very much a strong fire sign energy from this group. Um, I, am, I am hearing um, Aquarius and we also have Taurus again. So very, very deep, very um, earthy, relaxed and very comfortable this relationship, okay? So, <coughs> excuse me. Let's have a look and see what this person's all about. Who is this person? Oh my God, amazing. This is like a really strong start. You guys are going to have a really brand new relationship. This isn't somebody you already know. This is definitely somebody who's also going to help you create abundant, ab sorry, abundance because you're going to be, be very compatible. Therefore, your vibration is going to rise and you're going to be feeling very, very happy. You're most likely going to be doing really well in work when you meet this person as well. Um, and I see you have gone through a lot of... Uh, let's just say idiots, <laughs> gone through a lot of idiotic people, idiotic behaviour in people, whether that's siblings, um, it could be parents, can be friends, it can be relationships, but you have had a lot of mess with relationships just because you're, that's your learning path, you know, your path is to break through out of the old and into the new. I think I, think I just rhymed, <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I just rhymed. But this person is going to be very, very strong minded. Um, they are most likely going to have a very strong um, communicative sign in their Mercury. Like they're going to be a strong communicator. They're going to help you to unlock a lot of your potential, which possibly you have been pushing down and not been realizing. We definitely have a lot of fire in this spread, a lot of fire and air and also earth. Not so much water, but it doesn't mean that there isn't any water here. Um, yeah, someone who's going to communicate to you strongly. So what i'm feeling is the basically the leading up to this person we do have the the moon with the seven of swords with the knight of swords and then the death card what this is showing me is you're clearing out a lot of idiotic relationships friendships behavior i'm not saying you're an idiotic behavior it's like when you kind of are in that energy of I just can't get out of it because it just feels like it's safety but it doesn't feel safe you know because sometimes we're in relationships we don't actually feel safe but we're just in it because it's some, something to hold on to you know you got to break through from that pattern really see that you're going to have the good stuff on the other side and then boom this person comes in I'm feeling about six months for this group obviously it is going to vary this is an extremely general reading and then we have the water. So it's funny we have the full and then we have the Knight of Cups straight after. So this is showing me, you guys, that you're going to have a really beautiful relationship. And you may feel anxious at the start or you may feel anxious right now. But this isn't going to work out, okay? But it is. It is going to work out and it's going to be absolutely fine. Okay, guys? So let's pull a couple of sexual magic cards at the end. And then we're going to pull some letters so we have the eight of cups that's really really beautiful so feeling really comfortable with this person i think you have had definitely you guys you have had a lot of um idiotic behavior with people a lot of people who haven't treated you right a lot of people who have made you feel very uncomfortable this person is going to be the absolute complete opposite of this they're going to show you this is why you need to go through all of this so you could learn what it is that you need and what it is that you want we then have the seven of pentacles so seven and eight could be your numbers as well guys and the this card here I feel is basically about waiting. I feel like that's about waiting and kind of seeing when your person's coming in. It could be about impatience as well. But you don't have to worry about it, guys. I mean, this is a very intimate card that I'm gonna show you guys. So if you're not 18 and you don't feel comfortable with this sort of thing, look away. <laughs> um, this is basically the energy of like in control, feeling really passionate and very strongly connected to this person. So what I feel like with this is it's an energy of okay it's going to be fine I've just got to kind of be very strong in my own mind I think it's also you bringing back your power and taking back your power and also this person is going to be extremely powerful as well they're going to show you a lot about who you are and it's going to be a very very like eye-opening relationship in a like eye-opening relationship but in a way that's like, wow, like I never knew I had all of this in me. Like I never knew I could feel like this, you know? So absolutely beautiful, guys. So let's see what number you should be looking out for. Number two, beautiful. That's lovely. So that's about partnerships and feeling connected with this person. 
let's see what letters we have. We have A, Q and R. I'm going to pull a couple more. We have N and we also have Z. Okay, so let's see with the eye colour. <laughs> it's not showing me the eye colour. I want the eye colour. It's not showing me it. I think they're going to have quite dark eyes. Green. Okay. So you can have green or brown eyes. When will you meet this person? One to four weeks. So I was feeling more like six months. So it can be one to four weeks. It can be six months. You know, it varies. As I say, guys, this is a general reading. How will you meet this person? They don't want to tell me. I think you guys, it's meant to be a secret. <laughs> It's taken me like ages to roll with this thing at work. Okay, so it can be to do with work. It doesn't have to be work, but it can be like university, college, that kind of thing. Okay, and then the hair colour, blonde. Okay, so it can be blonde. I feel like they're going to have like a dusty brown colour if it's not blonde. Okay, and then let's have a look with the Astro Dice and let's see what we're looking at here. Okay, so we have Pisces, 12th house, Uranus. Sorry, no, Neptune, my bad. Um, this person's going to be very, very spiritual. They're going for a massive spiritual awakening and so are you. Ready? We've got 12. Oh my God, that's so funny. We have Pisces, Pisces, 12th house. 12. This is like that in dice form. That's crazy, apart from the moon, but that's insane. So for you guys, this person's going to be very connected to their Pisces energy, I feel. They're going to have gone through a massive 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 change okay so for you guys um this could be you as well you could have gone through a massive change but basically massive changes here absolutely beautiful amazing relationship i get a very strong vibe from this group so thank you so much for watching um i will be mo most likely bringing out an 18 plus reading at some point for this type of reading i love those 18 plus readings so that's what i'm going to do at some point but obviously i want to give you a more milder reading this time around so thank you so much for watching guys and if you want to get a private reading all my information is down below. I also have crystal jewellery being ready to be made so and also I'm working on it as well and hopefully bringing out a Etsy store at some point. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out my jewellery please do in the uh, description down below I have an Instagram which is at crystalcreationsco underscore. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see your next relationship, who they are, what it's going to be like, etc, etc. So what cards were you looking for here? Okay, let's go with these two first. So we have devotion and innovation. Lovely. So a very mature relationship, I feel, for this group. We then have flow. So this relationship is going to be very flowy. It's going to be really easy. It's not going to be something you have to like struggle to get or struggle to manifest or struggle in the relationship. It's not going to be like that. You and this person are very, very creative, I feel. And you're both going to be extremely devoted to each other. You're both going to be very connected to each other. You're going to be like, <laughs> like do or die for this person, but in a, in a loving way. Okay. In a loving way. So we have 12th house of surrender, Sagittarius, hope and peace so for you guys i feel like you may have given up hope you may have thinking you know been thinking okay when is this person coming in like are they ever going to come in is it going to be the right thing um all this kind of anxiety and basically what they're saying is to just stay calm it's going to be fine what they want you to do is just be in your own energy right now because the more you're in your own energy the more you're focusing on yourself the less that this needs to be worried about i feel like the more you're worrying about the future obviously the less you're living in the now the less you're living in okay what am i actually doing now because you want to devote yourself to yourself you know you want to devote your energy to your own self so then you can be ready for this person when they come in because you don't want to kind of drain from your own cup just so you can manifest your person because that's not what you need you need to focus on your own your own endeavors what everything you want to work on and for a lot of you guys you could have been going for a lot of some subconscious energy that's being moved through right now so I feel like for you guys, it's really important for you to surrender up to anything that no longer serves you. And you might be getting a lot of dreams about um, internet, in, in, internet, okay, maybe the internet, but intimate connections and connecting with a person or a certain thing, like a certain, like it can be an object, it can be a certain object in your dream or a certain animal or something that comes through as quite a big omen. So look out for that as well, guys. 
but I feel like the, if you guys, this person's going to be really enthusiastic with you. They're going to be very outgoing, very kind of um, energetic and very, very loving towards you. Okay, I'm going to pull some more cards for you guys in this deck. So I really feel like connected to this deck. So, okay, we have a sextile opportunity. It's going to, as I say, massive opportunity for this this group. This This relationship is going to make you come out of your comfort zone, which I think is what you need. And we have empowerment and we also have transformation. This isn't going to be your average relationship. This is going to be absolutely beautiful and so expansive and so unexpected and serendipitous. And your career is going to be a very important thing in this relationship. It's going to be something that may define the relationship in a sense that you may have been working a lot on your uh, career before you meet this person. Therefore, you know, your career is very important to you. So this person needs to be on that same level. You know, they can't be somebody who isn't there for you, who isn't supportive. And yeah, it's definitely about self-confidence for you guys. So working on your root and your sacral chakra, working on feeling really grounded in your own energy. And what's going to help you guys is carnelian. I do have a sacral chakra necklace available. So if you would like to purchase that, I will link my, my Instagram down below and you can order through my Instagram. Uh, or, if, or if you want to email me, you're welcome to. I'm going to pull you one more crystal card. This person's going to help you have confidence as well. Yeah, really good communication. Funnily enough, I actually have a throat chakra, chakra necklace as well. So if you ever want to purchase any of these, they are available. So I don't have a shop yet, but they are available. Um, yeah, so that's absolutely amazing. They're going to be really communicative. You're working on your throat chakra as well. Funnily enough, I was connecting with my chakra dream catcher today and I was looking at it and I was thinking, what chakras do I need to work on? Literally those two came up, which is so interesting. And then we have point out release and declutter heart chakra. You are going for a really big transformation. I don't think you have long to go, guys. I don't feel this is going to be very long. I think this is what you're working on now. And the universe is getting you aware of what you need to work on so you're ready for this person to come in, okay? So we're going to pick up some charms. So I want to go with the tarot first. So you are looking out to what is it that you want to achieve? Where is it you want to go? I think you're ready. I do think a lot of you are very much ready for your partner. Yeah, I think you're ready. I think you've worked on yourself a hell of a lot. You're ready for this new start to come in. You're so ready, guys. I think you're probably the most ready out of all the groups. Very intimate connection. Scorpio, Capricorn energy here. Very, very strong energy. You guys have been working a lot on your subconscious. I really feel that. A lot of Pisces, a lot of stress, but it's worth going through it so you can be this independent, beautiful human being and you can really connect with this person on a very healthy level, okay? So, let's see what other star signs or any other information we need about this person. Oh, this is going to be a very grounded relationship. You guys are going to have a really beautiful house together, children, all that jazz. Lovely. See what else what else does this person have what else is this person going to bring to group number three a lot of money <laughs> a lot of money this person's most likely going to be quite well off quite um yeah you and this person i feel like are going to have a really good career it could even be working together but i think this person's going to be very very um balanced and we also do have balance here as well with libra this person's going to be very very connected to you and I feel it could be a water sign. They could be pretty much any sign we have here. And they're going to help you to see yourself as this beautiful human being. And you're going to be really confident when you meet this person. I feel that. I feel like it's going to be nerve wracking. But it's going to be really, really beautiful. So let me get these cards away so I can get the dice out. Okay, so let's see. I'm just going to literally whip out all these dice and just do them all at the same time. Okay, so we have a mix. No, I'm gonna do that again actually, sorry guys. I wasn't really feeling that. Okay, so we have one to three months. I'm just gonna do it as they fall out. We have ginger brown hair. Okay, let's see. We have how you meet this person, concert or a pub. So I feel like this person could be, could even like that. You don't have to meet them through that. It can be that they're really into music. They could be someone who's very sociable, someone who's very um, extroverted, very enthusiastic about life. 
and we're gonna have bluey green eyes. So I do feel like they don't actually have to have those aspects, guys. They could even have black hair, they could have brown hair, you know, they could have literally kind of any color hair. But I mean, for some of you guys, maybe that's going to resonate, okay? And obviously if you say, I don't want somebody who looks like that, then obviously you're not gonna have somebody who looks like that because you're not gonna find them attractive, you know? So let's see what else about this relationship. Okay, so we have the magician. We already have the magician, so that's amazing. So it's definitely gonna be a new start. This person's a brand new person. You don't know who this person is yet. You don't know who they are, so that's really lovely. Let's see what else. Okay, this has um, nudity in it, this card. So I'm just going to cover it up because I haven't specified this is 18 plus. So with this card, this is the Three of Swords. So it can be for you guys that you have been going through a lot of heartbreak, a lot of confusion, a lot of like just energy where it just feels really, really uncomfortable. That is a sign that you're meant to go through it. That is a sign your person's actually coming in <laughs> because you're meant to go through this massive, massive change, okay? And this is your person like coming into you, into your energy and being like, hey, look, I've seen you gone through a lot. Now I'm ready to kind of come into your life, you know? But it's just absolutely beautiful. It's such a natural energy for this group. I really, really feel that. So what number should you be looking out for? Group number three? Number five. Okay, so very creative energy. And then let's have a look and see about the person. So we have Gemini, seventh house, moon. So they could have Gemini, moon, but also with a seventh house. This is showing me that this person's gonna be very communicative in the relationship. That's, communication is a very important part of this relationship. I mean, we had that in the crystal card as well. And they're very much connected to their moon sign, which means they're very connected to their emotions and their their energy in terms of their emotions. They just very, they're very good at explaining their emotions, I feel. And if they're not, I feel like you will help them with this and it'll be a very balanced relationship. So we have the letters Y. A, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, we have K, E, V, and U, okay? So those could be any sort of names, any letters for the names, towns, countries, anything like that. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really feel like this group is gonna have a very spacey, beautiful relationship. It's gonna be really lovely. When I say spacey, I mean very mystical very um, expansive and very fun. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like to get any crystal jewelry, please look down below for my Instagram. And if you would like to get some crystal jewelry and you don't have Instagram, just feel free to email me and I can get you some uh, a custom crystal jewelry. I will be bringing out my Etsy store very soon. I'm very excited. So I really hope you guys are excited for that. I am gonna do a countdown so you guys can look forward to when that's coming out. And yeah, I really love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support. If you would like a private reading, all the information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see your next relationship, who you're going to be connected with. We have the gorgeous Aura Quartz Titanium Covered. I love this, my Barbie crystal. So I feel like for you guys, it's gonna be a magical relationship. I think it's gonna be really fun, very feminine as well. Like it's gonna be really like loving and very open very expansive. I feel like for some of you guys, I'm getting number 36. So that could be an age for some of you guys, but that's kind of what I'm feeling. And very, very fun. I'm getting a lot of flowers for you guys as well. Okay, so it could be the purple iris that you could be connecting with as well, um, or purple flowers as well. So let's see what cards we have here. So we also have the North Node of Destiny and the third house of Perception here. We then have Friendship, that's really cute. Flattery. Uh, exaltation and nurture I love this card this is actually really similar to the crystal like it's so like um, iridescent in different colors so that's really accurate so I feel like this this and um, relationships can be very nurturing I think you guys are gonna be very strong friends before you are in a relationship I think you're gonna be really good friends at, in the relationship as well they're gonna be your best friend and they're gonna really suit you you could be very very similar but, or also very very opposite and that's how you two really connect with each other. This exaltation is complete and utter happiness. I really like the fact that we have the moon in Taurus because the sun is in Taurus right now. So it's very, very connected. We have the moon in um, Cancer as well and Mercury, Gemini, sorry guys, my 
words weren't coming out ironically funnily enough with the oh sorry no sorry venus in mercury but we also have speech so i do feel like this person's really good at communication they're very fun and they're going to be it's going to be a really fun relationship um i feel like strawberries and fruit is something that's quite a big sign for this relationship so just bear that in mind it could be like bearing fruit like i don't know what that means birthing i think birthing a new opportunity is what they're saying to me um and just kind of sharing and caring for each other and things like that okay so where are we getting drawn to next i feel like i want to pull you a couple more of these cards let's do that okay so this person could have quite a strong scorpio in their chart um i mean we have scorpio and virgo so they could have quite a strong um energy of like i don't want to give everything away at first they could be quite mysterious so that's maybe why you're friends first but you both are very, very intimately connected with each other. You're both very intimate, very strongly connected to each other. And then we also have revenge. So I feel like this person is going to be very intense. I feel like it's going to be a very intense relationship. And we have literally all the numbers here. We have two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So I think it's, this is basically going to have everything you want in this relationship. Um, and it's going to be very, very comfortable for you. This person could have quite high authority as well in some way. Um, they're going to be very nurturing to you. I have an itch. Sorry, guys. You can hear that on the microphone. Um, yeah, really, really beautiful. So let's pull some tarot. Okay, so leaving the past behind, you could have recently just left a connection that wasn't really good for you, like for your highest good. I feel, where are we? Over here? There we go. Sorry, guys. I can't really see what I'm looking at right now. Um, so we have the six of swords. Let's see what else we have yeah knowing that what's better is on the horizon knowing what's better is going to be coming towards you yeah exactly ten of pentacles absolutely perfect that's like full-on cancer energy that's like really feeling connected to your person this is going to be an absolutely beautiful relationship this person's going to be so amazing and it's going to be really balanced you've worked on yourself so strongly i don't feel like this person's very far away i am getting the name david thomas timothy and i also am getting the sign of pisces taurus Capricorn. Virgo, Aries and I'm hearing Jupiter as well. So we have the five of pentacles underneath the deck. So you could be feeling really lonely right now. You could be wanting this relationship to come through and feeling like, okay, when is it going to happen, Vicky? Like, come on, chop, chop, you know. But with the temperance card, this is basically saying that where you're going is the right path. You're not, you're not missing anything. You haven't missed anything. It's literally just in divine timing and concentrating on your own journey before you meet this person because you're going to have a massive change like a massive massive shift with this person okay massive massive shift for you guys so we have virgo i did say virgo this is just basically clarifying everything that i'm saying which is good love that we have the second house your assets finances and things you love yeah so this is going to be really good for your um career i feel like for your money i think you're going to be very abundant when you're with this person i think they just bring out the best in you therefore you attract the best and we have the moon so i really feel like cancerian energy is very strong here as i say very nurturing energy and we also have the sun so really really fun guys and funnily enough the sun actually represents the masculine and the moon represents the feminine so that's really lovely so both of you could be very very opposite of each other um, one of you could be more assertive, one of you could be more introverted, so one of you could be more psychic, one of you could be more kind of more about um, space and aliens and things like that. You could be more about spirit guides and tarot, things like that, you know, that sort of thing. Obviously, it's up to your own interpretation, guys, okay? So let's pull some astro dice. Oh, this all these always fall down. But you know, it could be my spirit guides messing messing around today. <laughs> Okay, we have Virgo again, Virgo Sun. Literally, we have that right there. That's so funny. Virgo Sun, 11th house. 11th house, funny enough, is about friendship. So this is going to be a really, really strong friendship with you two. I feel like you could be a Cancerian as well with a Virgo. That could be a combination as well. doesn't have to be, but can be. And you're going to have a very, very strong connection between you two. So you could be friends first before you meet them. They could be quite slow. If they are a Virgo, they could be quite slow in coming up with wanting the relationship they could be quite nervous but this person is definitely in your destiny they're definitely meant to be on your path because with this destiny card it's showing me that wherever you're going this is where you're meant to be going you're like aiming right towards it guys so if you feel like you aren't on the right path this is confirmation that you are on the right path okay um okay so i'm going to pull a number for you guys to look out for 
Number five. I knew it was number five. I was like, I bet it's going to be the number five. <laughs> I'm going to pull you some advice. I haven't done this for any other group, but I really feel drawn to do that for you guys. So, because I feel like you're the most worried about your connection, I feel, like coming in. So... Okay, we have speak your truth and stepping into your power. There's definitely an element of, um, okay, what is it that I can do to kind of be more in my own energy and not so much waiting for this person, wishing for them. It says have faith, strength, have strength, faith and conviction in your voice. It's never been more needed. We also have stepping into your power. Don't take a back seat in your, so in your story. It's time to step up. So... What I feel like this is, is if there's anything that you want to do, you can manifest it, you know, and if there's anything that you want to manifest that hasn't come through it yet, it's on its way, guys. Just really stepping into your power, knowing that, look, I've got this and I can do this. And everything that I have been preparing for is leading up to this. So I haven't missed anything. It's just in divine timing and it is coming for me. And just knowing and being confident in yourself and just saying to yourself that it is coming and I have manifested it. I keep saying I have manifested I. I am in a beautiful relationship. I love my boyfriend. I love my girlfriend. I love this relationship that I'm in. If you put it in the now, boom, there it is, okay? So, let's get some letters. We have M, B. We also have F, C, and Q. So those could be letters for this person. We're also gonna pull some dice about this person. So hair color. Ginger, I keep getting that ginger. So it could be brown hair. Um, yeah, it could be ginger or brown hair. Uh, eye colour. I think they can have blue eyes because I'm really looking at that black cat with blue eyes. Okay, brown eyes. It could have brown eyes. How will you meet this person? In nature. So something to do with nature. It could mean that you have a massive revelation in nature and then, then you meet them afterwards. You know, it can be. It's very variable, guys. So you take it as it resonates. And then when will you meet this person? We've got two years plus. So it doesn't have to be that long, guys. So it can be very variable. I mean, we have... You guys are pretty much there. So I don't feel like you have much to wait. You only have two cards here before you get what you want. So I think for some of you, it could be a little bit longer. But for some of you, you could meet this person in like, you know, three weeks, you know. So don't be disheartened by that, guys. But they are coming. They are on their way. Okay. And this is a timeless reading, so obviously just take it as it resonates. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles, kind of waiting for this to come around, waiting for your person to come in. And I feel like for you guys, we also have the Hermit here, um, and we also have the King of Wands. So these are very nude cards so obviously I, I won't show these but um we have the king of wands and the hermit so this is basically could be a fiery energy coming in also very intimate energy um very gonna have a very strong connection intimate wise and also the hermit is showing me that you guys are going for a very kind of a low point at the moment but it could be the fact that you guys just need to go through this energy to kind of um get where you need to be and i'm going to show you guys this card here i'm just going to cover it up <laughs> Um, it has a guy with a candle and it's blown out. I think you guys are burnt out. I think you need to take a break and just say that, look, this is going to come when it's meant to come and I will get there. Okay. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you would like a private reading, then please feel free to purchase one. They are down below. And if you would like to connect with me on any of my Instagram, Instagrams on the socials, I have my, uh, crystal girl instagram i have my tarot instagram and i also have my crystal jewelry instagram i haven't got my website up yet because it's not ready but i will be bringing that out very soon so thank you so much for watching i really hope you have a lovely day stay safe and i'll speak to you soon bye